Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. My leaders and my champions, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for choosing Chatufa TV production. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for standing with this channel. We humble ourselves. We thank you. We salute you. We express our love to you. For we know that we have a team of soldiers who understand the victory, the battle, the war, the outcomes, and the plans of God for our great nation of Zimbabwe. Those that are joining us for the very first time, Welcome to the channel of hope. Welcome to the channel of victory. Welcome to the channel of the gospel of victory and the emancipation of Zimbabwe. Chatufa Television Production. Please join this family if you wish by subscribing also. Like, share, and also put a comment in the comment section box at the end of this video. God bless you as you do that. Our partners, our donors, our supporters, those that may want to help this channel to grow, please contact us on the, the Watchmen Uncensored at gmail.com. We are also on Twitter at Shatufa TV. As I promised you that I'm going to be bringing a video on the spiritual part of what we were discussing, I come now to talk to you about what is going to be happening in the future. Nelson Chamisa will come out victorious after all this shaking. Whether people believe it or not, but that remains the truth. In our previous video in which we spoke about the exposure of Welshman Nguvet and Ibit and others on the Shabangu handlers, I promised to come and speak to you on a spiritual note of these happenings. I've always said that the treasure of this channel is that we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. We hear, understand, and see what other people cannot understand or see. That is what makes it very difficult for many who want to treat this channel like any other. One new person here said in his comment, Your journalism is twisted. You say things that lean to what you want. You must be neutral in your analysis. Today I want to put a disclaimer to everyone. My champions, I am not a journalist. I have never been a journalist. I have never trained as a journalist. I have never started as a journalist. This channel is not a de facto news channel, but it is a heavenly mouthpiece. Those that are used to commenting on canal channels hit a brick wall here. If you are not spiritual, you can never fit, let alone even qualify to comment or understand the stuff we talk about here. We speak spirit. And we speak life here. Check our videos and the things we spoke about and how they are being fulfilled before our eyes. This is a channel of ambassadors of the kingdom from above. One day, some will know who Chatufa is. We come here to proclaim the message of Elohim and explain to the citizens where he fits in all that is happening, including his plans and promises for Zimbabwe. Because for a long time the devil has spread the heresy that God is not involved in politics. Now we are sent to put the record straight and declare that God is in it. I answered that guy and said to him, Please do not come here and try to make this channel what it is not. This is a divine mission and a heavenly move for those that love God and are called for his purposes. The battle for Zimbabwe is going to be won by intercessors and the spiritual. Tough luck for the violent. So where are we, beloved citizens, concerning all that is happening around us? We have entered into a time when ZANU-PF has realized how much the spiritual has been stirred up by the intercessors and they are trying to up their game. When you see how ZANU-PF behaved on recalls and how they went physical, barring the opposition MPs from contesting. 
It's a clear declaration of war. When Satan is cornered, he quickly gets physical. Remember the works of flesh also include witchcraft. The spiritual has been stirred up. Listen to the provocation of spells and incantations. It's a sign that they are invoking their altars. Listen to what Patrick Chinamasa had to say. To the ordinary people, this means very little, if not nothing at all. But mark this, ZANU-PF is confirming that rituals they performed before undertaking their dirty plans have worked. Remember the children of darkness are more cunning and witty than those of light. But we are a different generation. It's a challenge to us intercessors to rise up even more. ZANU-PF have so much faith in their own spirituality that even Mtuli Mnuwe believes Nehanda will fix the economy. It's just prophets of Baal believing that their God will bring fire down. They hold on to their faith even if it yields no results. It is also a challenge to us citizens to be on our knees for our nation. What is happening in the nation today needs men and women who are not moved by the physical happenings. I hear lots of people saying Nelson Chamisa is missing because normally he should have come out to speak as his party is under such an attack. Well, I think they are right when they say normally because we spiritual people are not normal. We know, understand, behave and do things differently. When the worldly expects him to run to the media, he instead runs to his closet to hear further instructions from he who gave him the mandate to lead the people of Zimbabwe. Wisdom to win against evil in Zimbabwe needs those that walk and hear the spiritual. Those that hear from above will always talk less. That's Nelson Chamisa for you. As we get closer to the freedom of Zimbabwe from the grips of evil, our God who sees all things began a process of a leadership cleansing exercise that will see many heads roll. The weak, the weary, the greedy, the treacherous, the unfaithful, the chameleons, as well as the wicked, will fall by the wayside. Whoever is not good in the eyes of God shall be exposed within or around the men and women of God's mandate for Zimbabwe's liberation. What is wrong is wrong no matter who does it. I saw a few carnal people who tried to play the tribe card, insinuating that the Shabangu and Nube discussion we had was an attack on Ndebele speaking people. That's law. In fact, tribalism shall have no place in a free Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans must grow above language or territorial demarcations and know that we are one nation under God. In actual fact, if you still feel some tribal temperature rise in you whenever names are mentioned, then you are not yet born again. Seek God and ask him for a new heart. You are bitter, and without purity of heart, no one shall see the Lord. Shabang is just a Zimbabwean brother, so is Welshman Ngube. If they are in the wrong, we just have to call them to order. No one is good or bad because of their tribe or language. If you are a bad person, you are just bad before you speak the language that you speak. Because of intermarriages, most Zimbabweans are now mixed. Call them colors if you will. I myself am such. So to me, there is no Shona non Devele. So I speak both and I am both. I feel sorry for those that still have issues with that. Some people in comment sections preferred to get so low 
on the tribal card that they preferred to side with Shabangu and Nube, even blinded to the further suffering these guys have caused on the people of Matebele land. They have caused so much trouble and problems from people of Matebele land by placing them again under the evil Zanupiev regime. If tribalism can cloud your judgment to the extent of being so blind to the truth, then you have a problem similar to that of ZANU-PF. To ZANU-PF, everything is right as long as it is done by ZANU-PF. We will not stand and fold our arms when we see people, for whatever reason, enabling ZANU-PF to continue its oppression on the innocent Zimbabwean people. On this channel, we shall speak the truth and no one can come and arm twist us, for we know that only the truth shall set us free. Those that are uncomfortable with the truth are not supposed to be part and parcel of this channel. There are many channels out there that are so good at lying and caressing feelings. But on this channel we will stand for the truth, we will speak the truth, and only that truth will set the nation that has been under so much darkness and lies for a very long time. We have to bring the light and get rid of the darkness that has engulfed and enveloped Zimbabwe from time immemorial. So people like Tendai Beat and Welshman Nube are joining the wagon of the leaders that God is trimming out for our own Gideon before the battle against the Midianites. When you see the Lord being so strict in dropping big guns from the liberation, it simply shows us how he is so jealous about the Zimbabwe he is bringing out after all this. Citizens, there is a great Zimbabwe that eye has not seen nor ear has heard. Prepared for the citizens of Zimbabwe, we have suffered untold terrors at the hands of treacherous leaders. This is the reason why God is embarking on this cleansing process of leadership. The Lord will not allow again any leader who shall be double-minded or double-tongued, or any leader who shall act selfishly, causing some disadvantage to the citizens of the great new Zimbabwe. So the ground is being leveled. If you have diaries, write this down. Zimbabwe shall never again have an election of this kind that we saw this time around in 2023. Never, never again. In the eyes of the simple, Nelson Chamisa is done and going down. Forgive them for that is all that they see. You and I who understand deeper life know what is happening. Things are shifting for the good in the world unseen to Arakashi and to the blind leaders. By the time the Lord is done with his processes, some of which he is using the same ZANU-PF hooligans, many will be in utter shock. President Nelson Chamisa is good and safe in his house, praying for God's guidance. Listening to men of flesh who don't understand spiritual things is dangerous, my citizens. That is the reason I feel sorry for some who come here to comment on matters that are way beyond their little and diminished comprehension. Only the Chatufa family called by God to hear the message from this channel understand what is happening. Yes, you are called. You are chosen to be part of this gospel on this platform. This is the gospel for the emancipation and salvation of Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans. We declare mysteries here. We speak to shake all foundations of evil appeased by these ZANU-PF blood suckers. We are intercessors for the nation. Those who are available, join my brother Bishop Nyamakanga and our team of intercessors platform to pray for this great move of God. Pray for the mantle placed upon his servant Nelson Chamisa and that the will of God may be fulfilled in due season. Watch out for more exposures. A lot more is coming. You will hear news, names, and events that will shock you citizens. And when you see it happening, do not marvel. Know that the Lord's move is on. Many are going to depart this earth. For the wrath of God has been unleashed on ZANU-PF and what they have done, especially in the past few months. Come 2024, the Lord's humbling shall begin with the ANC of South Africa. Watch their elections next year. You shall see men fall like leaves in this ruling oppressive party, ZANU-PF, because the grace the Lord had given for many to repent, they have squandered in their arrogance and pride. They took refuge in their abandoned riches. 
A time is coming soon when you shall look at Emerson Mnangagwa and ask yourself, is this the man they called the untouchable crocodile? A time for humbling is at hand. Proof that God is God and he runs affairs of this world is soon going to be laid bare before the eyes of many doubting Zimbabweans. In a nutshell, fellow citizens, we have entered a very critical spiritual time and care must be taken how we trade day in and day out. It is time that we be sensitive to the spirit. Even those that seldom pray, I ask you to take a minute to pray for Zimbabwe. Because we are almost at the breaking point. Brother, put that castle or that Hansa bottle down just for a few minutes and say, Lord, remember Zimbabwe in this season. If indeed you want this evil regime out, there is no prayer that is lost. This critical breaking point we are at now has never been reached in our nation before. This is why Zanu PF and Emerson Mnangagwa are running amok and berserk and doing things unseen and unbelievable. It's pressure, my dear. It's pressure. Rise up, Zimbabwe, for the time is ripe. For a dream come true. The naysayers, too, know that the time is up. They are in a panic mode. The battle of spirits is at its peak and light is winning as always. Declare victory and call upon the name of Yahweh. We are more than conquerors in him who loved us. Those that are with us are more than those that are with them. Freedom is here and God is in it. We are winners. We are the future. We are victors. Maibu ye i Africa. Maibu ye i Zimbabwe. God bless you and God bless Zimbabwe. Till we meet in another video. Continue to be tuned in. Continue to support the channel. Continue to stay in prayer. Continue to walk in the spirit. Victory is here. God bless you.